Show that 6 minus root 8 divided by root 2 minus 1 can be written in the form a plus b root 2, where a and b are integers. So in order to complete this question, we need to get rid of this third on the denominator of the fraction. This is called rationalising the denominator. So we're going to multiply it by root 2 plus 1 divided by root 2 plus 1. So by multiplying the fraction by root 2 plus 1 divided by root 2 plus 1, this is the equivalent of multiplying the fraction by 1. However, it's going to get rid of the third on the denominator of the fraction and therefore make this number a rational number. So the next thing we'll need to do is simplify down this expression. So when multiplying two fractions, we multiply the numerators together and we multiply the denominators together. Now next we'll need to expand out these brackets. Now this may look complicated at first, however it's the same as multiplying out brackets with an x term in, just using thirds instead. So first we'll start off by multiplying 6 by root 2, which will give us 6 root 2. 6 multiplied by 1 will give us 6. Negative root 8 multiplied by root 2 will give us negative root 8 multiplied by 2. And then finally, negative root 8 multiplied by 1 will give us negative root 8. And now we'll do the same for the denominator of this fraction. So root 2 multiplied by root 2 will give us 2. Root 2 multiplied by 1 will give us plus root 2. Negative 1 multiplied by root 2 will give us negative root 2 and then negative 1 multiplied by 1 will give us negative 1. Now our first mark comes from multiplying these two fractions. The next thing we'll need to do is simplify this fraction down. So we can start off with the numerator. So the first thing we can simplify down is this negative root 8 multiplied by 2. And this gives us 6 root 2 plus 6 minus root 16 minus root 8. Now 16 is a square number, meaning when we square root it, it will give us a whole number. And the square root of 16 is 4. So we can now minus this 4 from 6. Now as we can see we still have two thirds in this number, however we want our answer with just one third in which is root 2. So we can expand this negative root 8 into root 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, which we can again rewrite as root 2 multiplied by root 2 multiplied by root 2. Now again we can treat this the same as algebra. And we can rewrite this as 3 root 2. And now what we can do is we can minus 3 root 2 from 6 root 2. And this gives us 3 root 2 plus 2. Now we get our second mark for the expansion of this numerator. And now the final thing we need to deal with is this denominator. So the first thing we can do is we can cancel out this root 2 because we've got root 2 minus root 2 and this will give us 0. So this leaves us with 2 minus 1 which will just give us 1. So we can rewrite this fraction as 3 root 2 plus 2 divided by 1. And again so that it's in the correct form that we want for the answer we can rewrite this as 2 plus 3 root 2. And this is where our third mark comes from for showing that this fraction can be rewritten in this form where a and b are integers.